Hello students. Today we are going to start with part 7 of 10 principles of economics. How people interact. Principle number 6 that is markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. Let's get started. In a market economy, we have two players. First one is firms and the other one is households. Firms decide whom to hire and what to make. On the other hand, households decide which firms to work for and what to buy with their incomes. These firms and households interact in the marketplace where Prices and self-interest guide their decisions. In his 1776 book, An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith gave a very important concept that is, invisible hand. In any market, buyers Look at the price when determining how much to demand and sellers look at the price when, when deciding how much to supply. As a result of the decisions that buyers and sellers make, market prices reflect both the value of a good to society from the buyer's perspective and the cost to society of making the good from the seller perspective. Smith's great insight was that prices adjust to guide these individual buyers and sellers to reach outcomes that maximize the well-being of society as a whole. Smith's insight has an important result. When the government prevents prices from adjusting naturally to supply and demand, it impedes, it hinders the invisible hand's ability to coordinate the decisions of the households and firms that make up the economy. And that is the reason central planners failed because they tried to run the economy with one hand tied behind their backs, that is the invisible hand of the marketplace. Clear? The invisible hand of the marketplace in which buyers and sellers interact with each other and they decide the market price. So that market price reflects both the value of the good to a society from the buyer's perspective and the cost to society of making the good from the seller's perspective. Clear? So this is the invisible hand of the marketplace. Thank you.